to all my tall lifters and basketball players looking to put on muscle mass and get higher in the vertical jump. Today I'm gonna show you how. You will gain discipline, your strength, speed, explosive. Man, mind one legged RDL, and you have to be consistent about it. What's up, y'all? Matthew Ramos, Gat Elite Sport Trainer with my man. Brandon Sherrod, professional basketball player overseas for the last six years. So today, guys, we're gonna go over a few tips for the taller lifters trying to pack on some muscle, having an issue with the joint pain, as well as get you a little bit more explosive with the athleticism for basketball. Vertical jump, throwing power, you name it. Let's get to it, shall we? For all my tall lifters who are complaining of shoulder pain and elbow pain when you're doing your bench presses, trying to do too much volume, I want to introduce you to pin presses. They're phenomenal for brute strength and volume. Let's go. Good. Guys, pay particular attention, okay? When he finishes the rep, he pauses for a second before he gets into the next one. That muscular contraction at the beginning of the rep is everything. Also helps to relieve that stress in the joint and the shoulder. The next exercise in the sequence, guys, is a med ball throw into a plyo push-up catch. Now, if you don't have a med ball or a partner to throw it to, you can still finish it off with a plyo push-up or a plyo push-up off the bench. Whatever variation, you're gonna go with a strength movement and pair it with an explosive movement in the same pattern and really develop all that overall power and explosiveness for the upper body. Let's go. Pay particular attention, guys, to the explosion through his hips and then he's gonna catch himself on the ground and then throw back up. Beautiful, so it's almost a double hyperextension. Another great exercise for my taller lifters out there is the trap bar deadlift. I know it gets a little bit of a bad reputation, but it is the gold standard for taller lifters. When we come to deadlifting, the issue with a lot of tall lifters is they have such an issue with their leverage that they have to push their hips up higher and then come up so the stress is on their lower back. Over time, that spells danger and disaster. So the trap bar deadlift allows them to maintain a higher spine, more of a neutral spine, push those knees out, create that torque in the hip, and really allow those quads to be stressed as well as the lower back and low, uh, thoracic lumbar. Here we go. I want you guys to pay attention to his setup. Perfect stance. Okay, his feet are slightly in from his shoulders. He's gripping the bar, he's pushing his knees out against his forearm to create that torque. He's locking those lats, his chest is up. Let's go, B. Beautiful, hips through, kid, hips through, hips through. Hips through, good. One more. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Beautiful. Last one, done. The chains are a great addition if you have them. Now, you can use heavier weight, obviously, but the chains allow for that mechanical advantage. So it's lower at the weakest point, which is for my tall lifters, getting into that starting position. And as your body raises and your mechanical advantage improves, the weight also increases. It's a great job, babe. All right, y'all, a great way to improve that vertical jump, that explosiveness, is after your deadlifts or squat, pair them with a hurdle hop or lower body explosive exercise. Notice when he jumps, okay? He's gonna bring his knees as high as he can over and then land nice and soft on the ground. Pay particular attention, guys. It's called an approach step, okay? So he's gonna get a nice little momentum going before he actually gathers himself and then explodes. I know the traditional box jumps are stationary or seated. This is a different variation, especially for my athletes out there to kind of get you right into dynamic correspondence, which is transferring what you do here to the actual court. Nice. Another great exercise for my tall lifters, Zercher box squats. Now, the majority of back, back squatting, especially with the loaded bar, is extremely hard for my tall lifters. So a lot of people have adopted the front squats. The issue with front squats is that a lot of people, especially my tall lifters, have issues with their shoulder mobility. So I want you guys to pay attention to Zercher box squats. Zercher squats are awesome because they hold your core nice and tight and allow you to maintain a neutral spine. On top of it all, there's no pressure on the shoulder whatsoever. That's what we talked about, joint health. My boy Brandon is gonna demonstrate. So the setup is simple, guys. Brandon is gonna come underneath with the Zercher hold. Notice he's bracing right at his elbows. Looks like a Wakanda forever, but in reality, it's the Zercher squat. He's gonna lift it off the rack. He's gonna take a couple steps back. Nice deep breath, brace that core, and now he's gonna sit down to that box and then press up. Beautiful job. Notice his emphasis is pushing his hips back, sitting on the box. I want you guys to remember, box squats have a, a horrid problem 
with people just crashing down onto the box. When B did his reps, he kept it very, very simple and maintained control throughout the entire range of motion. Great job, B. To all my tall lifters, an elite tip for y'all with doing box squats. I want you to imagine the box is like a scale. You only want it to read a certain amount of weight, so I don't want you to collapse on the box and put more pressure on that spine. I want you to stay nice and tight, maintaining that tension, and then coming up. Beautiful. Pushing those knees out, sitting that ass back. Perfect, rack in. To all my tall lifters, dumbbell bench presses, dumbbell incline bench presses are phenomenal for giving you some extra muscle mass in that upper chest. The issue sometimes is that my tall lifters complain of feeling restricted when they're on their regular size benches. So an elite tip is if your gym has it, you go ahead and elevate the bench underneath Olympic plates or set boxes that are nice and stable. How you like feeling? That is incredible. All right, here's the moment. Got sport. To all my tall lifters and my basketball players trying to get better with their explosiveness, I hope this helps. Like and subscribe. Any questions, any comments, drop them below. Peace.